Hello, Pastor Gabriel Salguero. This message I'm going to share in English, and at the end it will be in Spanish for all my friends, my colleagues, members of the clergy, and the broader Christian audience. After almost two decades of silence, I have to confess that I'm tired. After speaking with my wife, my children, my pastors, our lawyer, Nalek's executive committee, and the board of our church. I've decided to share with you, it is time to clarify some misunderstandings. For almost two decades, we have been on the receiving end of an avalanche of misinformation. And for those two decades, we've prayed, we've kept silence, we've sought counsel, we've met with pastors and leaders to speak into this issue. And you may ask yourself, what is the issue, Pastor Salguero? The issue is that there's an avalanche of misinformation and labeling about my character and my Christian witness. Proverbs says, a good name is more precious than silver and precious metals. And so I'm here to set the record straight. I'm here to tell you the truth. For a long time, my family, my church, my pastoral colleagues, the institution that I serve has been labeled as having a political and partisan agenda. Oh, he's too liberal, or he belongs to this party or that party. Well, now you're going to hear it directly from me. Gabriel Salguero, your brother, your friend, doesn't belong to any political party. And though, although I don't have to do this, I want to share with you my registration card. I have the right to keep this a secret, but to set the record straight, here it is, and I'll cover the address. Gabriel Alexis Salguero. No party affiliation. My agenda is the agenda of the gospel. I've always been a gospel follower. I am an ordained Pentecostal minister. I've been a pastor for over two decades. I'm mar happily married for 22 years and I have two beautiful sons. My parents have been ministers for over 40 years in a Pentecostal church. My brothers are pastors. My uncles are pastors and executives in the Pentecostal movement. I'm proud to call myself an evangelical. I serve on the board of the National Association of Evangelicals. And as part of my fellowship, every year, I have to sign a document of faith declaring I accept fundamental truths of the gospel. But even with all that information, I still have this avalanche of misinformation. Gabriel Salguero has this agenda. Our church has this agenda. I'm here to confess. We have no other agenda but Jesus. And I lament that for almost two decades, I've had to defend myself and my family in front of misinformation, labeling. And the question is, who wins when we do this? Who wins when people distort a person's character? The body of Christ is not helped. And so I'm asking you, my brother, my sister, my friend, don't be a part of sharing misinformation. The Bible says in Matthew 18, if you have anything about your brother, go directly to him. And so who am I? I'm an evangelical pastor. I'm a husband. I'm a father. I'm the president of a nonpartisan evangelical organization. What do I believe? I believe the gospel is the word of God. I believe in biblical marriage. I am pro-life from the womb to the tomb. I believe that the gospel calls us to defend the poor, the vulnerable, the widow, and the immigrant. I believe that Jesus Christ is Lord. I believe in the Trinity. I believe that the word of God, that scripture is our authority and it is infallible. I believe in the resurrection. I believe in the virgin birth. I believe that Jesus Christ is coming again. I believe in the Holy Spirit. I believe in the rapture. These are what makes me a Christian and what makes me an evangelical. I also believe that the church should not be divided along, along partisan lines. I am not a Democrat. 
I am not a Republican. I am a pastor called to the public sphere. And part of that calling, like Daniel, like Esther, I meet with everyone, but I endorse no one. Don't let anybody lead you astray. Matthew 5.11 says, you are blessed when people speak ill of you, lying. You see it with your own eyes. Gabriel Salguero, no party affiliation. But more than that, you hear it with your own ears. My commitment is to the gospel. And so the next time you hear from a, about a brother or a sister that this is their agenda or that is their agenda, do what Matthew 18 says. Go to him and ask him. Go to her and ask her. I'm tired. The body of Christ is tired. My board is tired. My family is tired. My brothers are tired. My sons are tired. My wife is tired of defending ourselves against allegations that are simply not true. Mischaracterizations of our character. I lament that after two decades of keeping silence and prayer, I have to address this issue. But the time has come to set the record straight. The time has come to defend not just my name, but the name of my family, of my children, my church, of my coalition. Matthew 5 is calling us to speak the truth. The gospel is calling us to clarify. So why am I here today after 20 years? Because for the last several years, I've had to write letters. I've had to defend myself. I've had to clarify. So now, once and for all, dear brother and sister, you have it on the record. We are gospel-centered. I am gospel-centered. Not captive to any political party or any political agenda, but the gospel. As I spoke to my lawyer this morning, he said, it is helpful to tell people it is wrong, not because of law, but because of the gospel. He's a Christian lawyer to say things about people which are simply not true. I'm inviting you to share this message to clarify the truth about our Christian witness. Because people have said to me, Pastor, but God will defend you. Yes, God will defend me. But there are times you need to protect the witness, not just of your person, but of pastors that are affiliated with you, of your family, of your congregation, and of your Christian institution. And like David in the Valley of Elah, I'm telling the giants, that's simply not true. Our commitment is to the gospel. Thank you for listening. And thank you for being part of the solution this country needs. An undivided church that's not divided by politics, political agenda, or mischaracterizations for the sake of power. God bless you. I love you. Thank you for listening. Hermanos y hermanas, después de casi dos décadas de guardar silencio, de orar, he decidido aclarar el récord. Hoy en mi declaración pastoral, después de dos décadas, después de hablar con nuestro abogado de nuestra coalición, mi esposa, mis hijos, mis padres, la junta de Nalec y la junta de nuestra congregación, he decidido aclarar el récord. Y usted se preguntará, ¿qué está aclarando el pastor Salguero? Bueno, estoy aclarando un sinnúmero de mala información y desinformación que se ha regado. Por muchos años han alegado que el pastor Salguero, mi persona, está comprometido con una agenda política, partidaria, liberal o progresista, o del otro lado. Pero quiero ser claro con ustedes. Y voy a hacer algo que no necesito hacer, pero me siento comprometido a hacer por el beneficio del testimonio de mi familia y de mi persona. El pastor Salguero no está afiliado a ningún partido político. No tengo que hacer esto, pero quiero hacerlo. Esta es mi inscripción de votación. Gabriel Salguero, estoy cubriendo mi dirección para que nadie venga a mi casa. Pero usted notará ahí que dice no party affiliation, no afiliado a ningún partido. Le pregunto a otros líderes si están dispuestos también a compartir las leyes, de decir que su compromiso es con el evangelio, no con ningún partido. Han dicho que tengo una agenda que no es bíblica. Vengo a aclarar, 
mi único y primordial compromiso es con el Evangelio, el Evangelio de Jesucristo, que es pro vida, pro familia, pro matrimonio bíblico. Siempre ha sido mi postura, siempre será mi postura, la mía, la de mi familia y la de nuestra congregación y nuestra iglesia y nuestra coalición. Yo soy ministro ordenado pentecostal. Y en mi denominación todos los años tengo que firmar una declaración de fe que yo digo públicamente que afirmo los mandatos y las creencias de dicha organización. Soy ministro en buen estatus con mi denominación y por eso quiero decirle a los hermanos y las hermanas es lamentable que la gente insinúa que hay una agenda partidista y partidaria y eso da ese daño al evangelio a mi familia, a mi congregación. Vengo a aclarar cuáles son mis convicciones. Yo creo en la palabra de Dios como la absoluta autoridad. Yo creo en la Trinidad. Yo creo que Jesucristo es el Señor, murió y resucitó de entre los muertos. Yo creo en la resurrección. Yo creo que Cristo vuelve otra vez. Yo creo en el rapto. Yo creo en la bendita esperanza. También creo que la iglesia no se puede dividir y no se debe dividir por agendas políticas partidarias. Como pastor, como esposo, como hijo, como ministro, como líder nacional evangélicos. Eso siempre ha sido mi postura. Y lamento que después de dos décadas todavía tengo que aclarar. Les invito a en el libro de Proverbios, la Biblia dice, un buen nombre es mejor el oro y las perlas preciosas. Mateo 5 dice que eres bienaventurado cuando hablan de ti toda cosa mala mintiendo. Pero más que todo, Mateo 18 dice, si tú sabes algo de tu hermano o crees algo de tu hermano, ve directamente a él. Pues yo voy directamente a ustedes. Esta mala información de mi familia, de mi persona, Después de consultar a nuestro abogado, nuestra congregación, nuestra junta, le hemos dicho, le invitamos. Comparte este video. Aclare que la agenda del de pastor Salguero, su familia, su congregación y su institución es solo bendecir y solo proclamar el evangelio con principios del evangelio. ¿Quién gana con estas narrativas? El cuerpo de Dios no gana. Es divisivo, es dañino. Hermano y hermana, sea un portavoz de la unidad y de la verdad, porque conoceremos la verdad y la verdad nos hará libre. Toda mi vida, desde que soy niño, llevo más de dos décadas pastoreando. Mis padres, más de 40 años pastoreando. Mis tíos, mis primos, todos ministros pentecostales evangélicos. Han tenido un compromiso con el evangelio y la comunidad latina evangélica. Eso no cambiará. Seguiremos con nuestro compromiso a la verdad, pero es tiempo de aclarar esto y decirle, hermanos y hermanas, la verdad es que estamos peleando con una agenda bíblica, no partidista. Thank you for listening. Thank you for sharing. I am so thankful that I have a platform to clarify this Christian witness, but so many other brothers and sisters don't, where they've been blind. And we need to create a new culture, a culture of unity, a culture of respect, a culture of honesty. I'm inviting you to share this and do the same. God bless you.